What is up guys? It is your boy uh, Chris and today we're going to talk about The Purge Deuce. That movie, let me give you guys a quick and dirty review. You're going to see more in-depth coverage of it, uh, description of it, blah blah blah, in or on my blog. So if you don't know what that address is, I'll go, I'll go ahead and put it here, down here somewhere where you guys can uh, look and go check out the blog get your read on but if you aren't the type that likes to get your read on because you are lazy that's cool that's the point of this video so let's jump right into it quick and dirty bottom line is that movie the purge 2 was fun it was really really fun it was entertaining it was suspenseful it had something that was extremely rare in this genre of movie when the first purge happened and we all went to see it it was we didn't know what to expect it just seemed really interesting the the idea of a purge in america was like what it was something that be, it was just crazy when i walked out of the theater watching the purge number one it was like well okay it was cool it was entertaining up until the end i think the end in my opinion was a little cheese a little cheese ball cheesy but nonetheless it was still an entertaining movie and you knew you knew what it was about yada yada however when the purge 2 came out as far as previews and such that's when it got a little interesting because if you guys look at the previews you know you see a guy and a girl on a bridge their car breaks down you know i'm not giving anything away the point of this video is not to have some kind of spoilers or whatnot i don't want to ruin anybody's experience but you get an idea of what the movie is about, and it kind of it's it's enticing, and it's intriguing, it's all of that. Well, the one thing I will tell you is a lot of times previews will show you things that you weren't, you don't actually see in the movie. It happens all too often, and that's just what they do to get you, you know, to wrangle you in, get you reel you in, and all that. They get their 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 Mortal Kombat on. Get over here. That's pretty much the point of trailers. This movie. Everything that you see in the trailer, that you saw in the trailer, you see in the film. And that's freaking awesome because the trailers were pretty dope. So, having said that, the movie from beginning to end was suspenseful. And I think about 99% of the time, um, you, you're just on the edge of your seat, not sure what's going to happen. And the one thing they did a really good job of is throwing you a bunch of curveballs and I thought you know I thought Clayton Kershaw was on the mound I was like this mother you know it was really good <laughs> the movie itself was really good uh, I don't need to use all kinds of uh, whatever bottom line this movie was really good go watch it highly recommend it if you've never seen the first purge and you're kind of curious about what this is about that's cool you don't have to actually watch the first purge because there really isn't any content per se that carries over and by that i mean the premise of what the movie's about you can figure that out in two seconds because it, it explains it to you so they did a great job of that the nfa you know and all of that stuff you'll you'll figure that out when you watch the movie it, it's all it, it they read they, they they repackaged it basically and explained it again like i just mentioned so if you've never seen the first one go watch it if you can't watch the first one and you're curious to go watch the second one first that's fine because you're not going to have missed anything you won't even know that you know you wouldn't even know it's a sequel we just know it's a sequel and by we the people that have you know watched one and two so highly recommend great movie very very entertaining suspenseful beginning to end twists and turns has all the elements of, of, of a really fun movie and like i said it, it's a movie that has me looking forward to a third one and it alludes to that at the end so you know you i'm hoping that that happens because it was really it was cool and i'd like to see where they go with it next i actually can't even think of what they would do with it next other than a new location but it, it was fun. It was really fun. I, I keep using the fun word because fun, entertaining. Uh, I say I, I reserve words like phenomenal for for you know m much more you know movies that are epic and you know Schindler's, Schindler's List type movies and and other 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 films that that we all know 
are, are much greater. They're going to win awards and things like that. This movie, I, I don't know what category it could win an award for, but if there's if there was ever an award for, for hella fun, then I nominate it. I think that should be an award that they put in this year at the Oscars. The hella award goes to The Purge 2. That's what's up. That's what I'm saying. It's a good movie. Go watch it. Watch that shit. You, and then when you watch it, come back here and leave your comments and tell me if you thought it was just as good as I hyped it up to be because I thought it was. So that's about it. It's your boy, I Chris, with my I Review It movie, The Purge 2. Holla.